everyone and welcome back. Today we are looking at the Transformers Generations Shattered Glass Blur. And first and foremost, I just want to say not a fan of the of this mold. Just it, it doesn't do it for me. I like the colors, do not get me wrong. I like the character, do not get me wrong. It's just the mold itself is a little meh. I didn't like it in the Studio series and I don't like it here. Um, if I had the Titans Return figure, I would much have preferred that. Um, but, you know, that's just me. Feel free to like what you like. It just is not my thing. I, I'm not a fan of the giant, what I like to call the praying mantis arms. Because, like, the man's got praying mantis arms. But, I mean, hey. Added weapons if you want weapons. Um, for the Deco here, you got the nice uh, kind of purple Autobot logo encased in this nice orange translucent plastic. That reminds me a lot of the amber that um, John Malcolm... or Was it John Malcolm? Who, who was the... The professor guy from uh, Jurassic Park. Him. Ma yeah, I think it was Malcolm. Anywho. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of that. So, <laughs> blur, blur splurged a wee bit on the glass shielding here. He, he wanted nice, pretty amber. Because why the hell not? Um, for the head, you got this really menacing, like, psychotic smirk here for blur and it's kind of creepy um he's only got the one optic though so that that kind of tells you he's up to some shit he's been up to some stuff um you also have a uh, ignore that that was just prime falling down um you have uh this nice scar that goes like right from his eye down it looks really nice unfortunately my camera yeah, no, my lighting setup doesn't exactly work, so I, I'm going to be working on that a little later on. Um, down the line, hopefully I'll have a better lighting setup. Uh, for now, I do apologize. Um, yeah. So, you also get this really nice, like, two-tone blue. You get the uh, this kind of sky blue here for the middle section and for his shins and the uh, knee pad, as well as his arms. And then you got this nice kind of, I want to say like royal blue or just a really nice dark blue for the rest of them. And then you got these really nice black accents. And it just looks really, it, it, I don't like to constantly say this, but it looks beautiful altogether. Like it, it just, it pulls everything together with the, um, with the studio series version. I was kind of meh on it. Not going to lie. Um, I just, uh, the, the light blue didn't, the two-tone light blue just, it, it didn't quite do it for me. I still got it because it's Blur and I'm a Blur fan. Um, though I'm not getting the, thir <laughs> the, uh, the Velocitron version. I'm sorry. I, I have enough, I, uh, not even the, 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 uh, the niceties of the IDW stylings are going to make me get this mold again. Which is unfortunate, because that version of Blur was really cool. Um, I just would have preferred it if he got a new figure from it. But, ah well, c'est la vie, whatever. For articulation-wise, his head can go all around, but for some weird reason, and I just noticed this, the way that his head, like, the way that the ball joint is... When you turn the neck around, you're, like, basically moving it so that the neck is now... It... I don't even know how to explain it. It just looks weird. Like, the neck now is jutting out instead of just being... Um, yeah, it just... It looks weird. I can't quite tell what... Um, what I don't like about it. It just... It looks a little off-putting to me. Um, arms can go full out. He can T-pose, so suck it, Magnus. 
I tried it once before. I'm not doing it again. I know for Blur is a fast talker, but I just, I can't do it without sounding really, really dumb. And it's already a pretty dumb joke, if you ask me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you do, uh, his arms, you only get about a 90. Wrists, you can kind of move, kind of. The big blocks here get in the way of any inward rotation for the fists but you can get some outward so i mean you can have them kind of doing uh, but again the mantis arms get in the way legs can go out that far man can do the splits is the power of the splits yeah 90 degree bend at the knee, which is very nice. And the ankles can go in about that far. And they can't exactly, they can't go out because of all this junk here, but they can go up. That's mainly for transformation, but you can make it so that it kind of looks like he's running or like he's getting ready for a starting pose. Yeah. So, oh, for comparison, there's Blur. Here's Ratchet. And here's the terrible leader of the Shattered Glass Autobots. So, yeah. There you have that. Now, if you'll give me one second, ladies and gentlemen, I will get him really quickly transformed into vehicular mode. So I will be a hot back. And here we have him in vehicle mode. And this is why I bought Blur. Because this looks beautiful to me. Like, I, I love this vehicle mode. And just the, the fact that all that light blue now just disappears into a sea of black, silver, royal blue. And you only get like the smallest hints of it with the cock, with like the, the cockpit area here and the metallic blue um, right here on like what would be the, the, I guess these would be like heat diffusers, I guess, for the engine. That's no doubt. <laughs> that's with no doubt back here. Then you got these two thrusters here on the side. You can kind of see that these are like ob obviously the knees here. But like if you turn them upside down, it, it I mean, it doesn't look like anything. So that's good. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of get the semblance of something just because like the, these are obviously feet. But if you look at it from the top and just kind of quickly from the bottom, you're not going to think, oh, hey, that's a transformer. That That thing obviously turns into a robot. Because, my God, does this thing, like, does this thing look really nice? I just, I, and I love the, like, the metallic blue lightning coming from here that just makes it look like, this guy's personality is definitely one of, like, sh like, even more showboaty than what regular Blur was like. And I, I love it. So, for comparison... Here he is with Ratchet. Fast, not fast. And here he is with Prime. Fast. Doesn't need to be fast because he's a friggin' truck. He can kill things. Especially with the laser drill. And just for giggles, world's worst racer. I know I already made that joke. I don't care. All right. And that is it for blur. I know this was a really short one, guys, and I apologize. Um, but there, there's really not a whole lot for me to say about this guy, uh, and I try my best to be upbeat and supportive on, like, a lot of the figures that I review. Because, like, I, I know a lot of people have bashed the, this. And I, I get that. But I like to see the, the positives to this mold. 
because it does have positives. This one, I can kind of see them, but I also can't. You know, I, I, I'd like to. I really would like to. And the vehicle mode, yes, I have, like, the um, an amazing amount of joy looking at this thing. Because this is, like, the mode that I primarily have him in. Because I love this mode so much. It's just the, the robot mode, its articulation is great. It's wonderful. It's just the two giant pylons here. And I understand why they need it to be that long so that for vehicle mode, it looks really good. It's just, in my opinion, it, it doesn't look nice. And that's my, really my only complaint. And that's the only thing holding me back from liking this figure a whole lot is just the two long pylons. It, but they make up for it with this vehicle mode, which is bloody amazing. So if you guys are able to get it, either get the Studio Series or this version, or heck, even when um, the uh, Speedia 500 finally drops, I would highly recommend trying out this mold for yourself because with the Speedia blur, they've gotten rid of the giant pylons and they've changed the uh, front end. So, you know what? It may or may not be different. I may or may not get it. You may or may not see a review for it. But you will definitely be getting two Speedia reviews. Yeah, so that'll be it for me today, guys. Again, apologies for the shortness of the episode. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you all again so much for watching. Alright, guys. I'll talk at you later. Bye.